Hello, welcome to TW 2013. I am here with my 2006 save, and we are here after the Raw, um, first Raw on the Road of Vengeance. I mean, technically, because Judgment Day was last yesterday. So let's let's go. I have four pre-show matches, and the first one's pretty good. Mike Awesome loses to Jeff Hardy. Um, um, yeah. The lack of psychology, but still got a B, so pretty good right there. A C. Dolph, Dolph is off his game. Um, okay, Dolph. Okay, let me. Um, Dolph, watch out for Dolph. I, 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 I need to see if he's. If I, I gotta put him in the ring next week with a really good opponent, and see how the rating is. I guess. And a C plus with um, Team Weird losing to Team Legit. Because Team Legit is legit and Team Weird is weird, so. Eh. Um, who pinned who? Mondo pinned Scotty to Hottie. Okay. And then the final pre show match Cassius Ono loses to Kurt Angle. Good match, good match. And show starts off with Eric Bischoff punishing John Cena. He's like, tonight, John, the main event is you versus Kane. To punish him for what he did last week. And Gregory Helms cuts a promo on Shawn Michaels. Has a C match with um, Monty Brown. They didn't click. Both of them have been getting really good matches. Except for Gregory Helms last week for the Intercontinental title match. Didn't do too well either. I think I only got a C plus or something. But any improvements? Nope. Okay. Uh, Shawn Michaels B promo about Gregory Helms. 80 match, um, I don't remember if this was better, uh, I mean, if it is better or worse, it's only by a point or two, but, um, last week's pre-show match I brought to the main show, and it did pretty good. An A promo from CM Punk, that's good, CM Punk improvised well, um, build up Kurt, the Kurt Punk feud, going into Vengeance, Vince cuts a promo, hyping up, um, his r rivalry with... Donald Trump. Team Young, Team Weird. Oh, they were in a main rest, main show match too. I should not have put them in a pre-show match as well. Oh well. Team Young Money beats Team Weird. I mean, Young Money's the next number one contender for the tag titles, and then get beat down by but Dudley Boys. Um, Mickey cuts a good promo. Yoshida. This was a good match for Yoshida. And a bad last segment between those two. Um, Mariko. Mickey tries to attack Mariko, Yoshida, and Yoshida turns it around and beats her up. <laughs> and then this co the co main event, Triple H defeats the big show at, with a pedigree, followed by Jeff Hardy running in and attacking Triple H. Um, Triple H and Jeff are in a feud, so. Eh, going into Vengeance, Triple H, Jeff Hardy. And John Cena, main event, good main event here. Um, John Cena beats Kane with the FU, and then afterwards Brock Lesnar comes out and just beats Cena down. <laughs> kind of like a miniature version of what happened at Backlash, <laughs> just killing John Cena dead, just beating him down. And then the contract, official contract signing between Edge and The Rock didn't do too well. Oh well, match is going to take place at Vengeance. Which I should probably start pre-booking Vengeance, Cena, Brock, and now Rock's Rock Edge. The Rock and Edge. Edge is really, like, he's over, he's got the momentum, he is the top guy right now. And what was another thing I set up for Vengeance tonight? Shawn Michaels I set up versus Gregory Helms. Set that up. Um, let's see. What else did I set up? I set up. I mean, it's been set up. But Kurt versus Punk has is been set up for a while. Um, is there anything else I'm forgetting that I set up? Probably. I mean, Mariko Yoshida versus. Mickey James, I'm still not sure if I'm going to drag that to, to Vengeance, because Vengeance is a good four or five weeks away, 
And same thing with the tag team titles. I may blow that off on a Raw. And not, maybe not blow it off, but have the first match on a Raw, and maybe a rematch or something on the, on, at Vengeance. But that's what I'll pre-book for now. Overall, B-plus show. Good. Very good. Um, yeah. All in a Raw was pretty good. Let's see here. Ah, let's see. Palmer Canyon can't con ah Palmer Canyon contract ending. Um, I'm not resigning him, and because I don't know who he is. Let's see here. Who are you? He's a personality on SmackDown. So yeah, you're gone. Actually, hold on. Yeah, he is gone. Sorry, bro. <laughs> you're gone. Paul Burchill is holding on to a job <laughs> with Kennedy. Um, actually, let me look at Mr. Kennedy right now. His stuff. I didn't look at it since he has a not a momentum, and he's he's almost at the night and almost to the A popularity. So let me. Randy Orton probably went down a good bit, didn't he? No, actually, not 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 too much. Only maybe a point or two. Let's look at the Undertaker. I mean, obviously, he he didn't go up or down. I don't think he's he's the Undertaker. <laughs> I want, did the title prestige go up any? I was hoping that it would. I have to look back and see what it was before. Um, let's look at any other SmackDown titles that would have or could have gone up. Maybe a little bit this. I don't remember. But Joe's been doing really good with the belt. Whoa, Joe is up there, dude. Joe, Joe is ready. He is ready for the big time. Samoa Joe and CM Punk are just they, they they're ready. I think Joe may be more ready than Punk, to be honest. Yeah, Joe is more ready than Punk. They, Joe wanted, needed to get that big pay-per-view win, and he got it over Benoit. I mean, Benoit lost a bit, lost a bit, but you know, he he had to he had to lose to Samoa Joe. Yes, we have to usher in the new stars. Samoa Joe is young, 27 year old, whereas Benoit is 38 years old. He's only got a couple more years probably in the business, so. I mean, put put putting guys over him isn't one isn't the end of the world for him. I should probably start putting people over Flair too, because he he can he can really help people with their momentum by them beating him. Let me look at Ray. Ray's popularity went up with the Batista match, which which is good. And how did Batista do? Yeah, he did. I mean, it's the same, I think, right? Eh, yeah, pretty much the same. Um, his flaw is good. Okay, so I have to really book him with good people, and he's thirty-seven, so he has a few more years probably in the business as well. But I feel like I can still book him over the next year or two pretty strongly. I mean, he isn't the best worker either, so I'm kind of reluctant to put put a world title on him again. At this point, he's a one- or two-time world champion, isn't he? Let's see here. He's a one-time world champion. He beat Triple H, right? Lost. Yeah. That's the one he would have beaten Triple H for. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.